Welcome to our ICM Profile Improvement Workshop. My name is Charmaine Barrett from the Industry Capability Network and I'm the Client Relationship Manager. This workshop has been developed to further educate you on what ICN does, understand where ICN fits into projects and how to maximise your ICM profile to increase your chances of gaining work. We have broken the workshop up into three sections, ICN Explained, your ICM Profile and Submitting EOIs. ICN is a proactive business organisation that identifies, develops and matches opportunities to Australian and New Zealand businesses, meaning that we identify projects that are likely to take place in a region, we develop a relationship with the major proponents and we match local capability to the project requirements, but that's only one element of what we do. At the end of the day, ICN is an information source accessible to project proponents, industry and governing bodies. We are an IT solution and a personalised consultancy. We have a team of people that are passionate about ensuring local industry is given every opportunity to be assessed for works on projects happening in their region. We also want to ensure local industry has the right information on projects in their area so that they can promote themselves to the right people. ICN in the Northern Territory is a private company. We report to a board of eight directors comprising of our shareholders, which are the Chamber of Commerce and the Master Builders Association, along with industry representatives and the CEO of the NT Department of Trade, Business and Innovation. We cover both public and private sector procurement processes and remain independent and unbiased in all aspects of what we do. We also receive some support from the Northern Territory Government and that support enables local industry to access ICN services for free. We are part of a national network. We have over 30 offices and 90 experienced consultants nationwide. In recent years and in response to changing environment in Central Australia, we opened an office in Alice Springs and now have a full-time consultant on the ground for business to access. We're able to do what we do because of our database. We have around 4,000 NT businesses registered and these feed into a national database where around 70,000 businesses are listed. Our team of consultants monitor and update company data regularly. We don't discriminate which industries can be listed and encourage everyone, including the corner shop, to create a profile. Remembering ICN is an information source and we encourage businesses to use us as that. We want businesses such as the corner store to be made aware of what's happening because we want them to be prepared for the indirect opportunities that inevitably become available from projects in their region. As you would be aware, projects require a wide range of different support services over the life of a project. How does ICM work? Someone with a genuine business opportunity will approach us. They could have a need as broad as requiring a list of waterboard drillers that service the Catherine region or something quite defined. They might need someone who can manufacture a pig launcher, who can provide previous past history and meet stringent quality requirements. We'll search our database and we'll develop a list of businesses that match the client's needs and hand that response to them. From there, we'll step away and take no part in the commercial discussion, and that's ICN in a nutshell. We're an information source for suppliers and a conduit for information for project proponents. So let's start talking about NT industry and upcoming projects, and hopefully I can impart some knowledge that helps you prepare for what's coming up. So where does ICN fit into a project? Typically, we would be engaged upfront during the project planning phase and continue throughout the life of the project and into operations. We would act as an intermediary between the project and interested suppliers, allowing the project team to focus on a project related items until they were ready to look at suppliers. During that time, the ICN team would become the go-to for industry. We would capture interested parties' information and keep them informed on project progression. In conjunction with the project, we would hold industry events and forums, aiming to give the right information to industry so they can prepare themselves for upcoming opportunities. We continue this process down the tier levels to ensure maximum exposure of local industry. Although supplier identification is our primary service offering to buyers, ICN offers a suite of services to a wide range of clients that complement this offering, including capability mapping, communica communicating opportunities via ICN Gateway, and we have just recently partnered with external companies to offer both procurement and workforce solutions. 
For industry, we like to position ourselves as the behind the scenes marketing arm for your business. We communicate opportunities to you that you may not have been aware of and assist in connecting your business to buyers through our supplier identification service. On average, we have 526 inquiries passing through our office on a monthly basis. To clarify, an inquiry is when someone with a genuine business opportunity approaches us for a list of local businesses that are cap capable of meeting their needs. Of those 526 inquiries, only 0.68% make it to ICN Gateway. So of these 526 inquiries, only 3.75 on average per month made it to the public realm. For me, this is one of the most important numbers I can share with you today, as this highlights just how much work we do behind the scenes to promote local industry, and also highlights the importance of maintaining your ICM profile. Your profile is what tells us what you're capable of. ICN in the Northern Territory has been operating for over 30 years, and in that time we've worked with a lot of projects. Here you can see a snapshot of some of those clients. Which brings us to you and your ICM profile and how we identify what you do to connect you to the right opportunities. When you first log into your company profile, you'll see your subscription details on your dashboard. The subscriptions are a paid advertising option if you're wanting your company details to be viewable in our ICN Gateway public search option. You do not need a subscription for ICN consultants to do what we do with your business information. Via ICN Gateway, this is the public search area that all companies that take up a subscription will be viewable in. We look at your ICN Gateway profile as your company resume. As this quote states, a great pitch can do many things, and this is what your co company profile does for you. It pitches your business to buyers when ICN puts you forward for opportunities. What we'll do now is start working through your company profile. If you could log into your company profile, we'll first work on your elevator pitch, which is your company summary. On the left-hand side of your screen in the menu bar, under My Company, click on Summary. Read out loud your company's summary and think about if this really explains what your company does in about 30 seconds. This summary should be a short paragraph or two and is used when ICN consultants prepare our response back to buyers about your business. If it doesn't sell what your company does, please take the time now to update this text. Below the summary is the description. This section will be an expansion of your summary and include a lot more detail on your company. The following slide will give you a few pointers on what to include in each area. In the summary, this is the most important statement of your ICM profile because it is available to subscribers. First sentence is most important and focus on what you do, core products and services, be short and to the point. In the description, it highlights your company's unique attributes, stand out from the competition. This is provided to ICN consultants and prospective clients when you're submitting an expression of interest. Objective is to present your company expertise and key capabilities in this area. At the bottom of the summary screen, you'll see an area to capture the information on your previous significant projects. This area will become your company resume and enables ICN consultants to see in a snapshot what your business is capable of undertaking. The next section that we are going to work on is your products and services. So what you actually do without all the marketing and promotional wording behind it. You'll see a number of options with radio buttons in the top section. Review or complete these. Following this is an area to capture your products and services along with your facilities and equipment. Following are some key points to ensure that these areas are completed correctly. Products and services is what you have to offer capturing in key words. Use any word you associate with your business, include technical language or terminology and brand names. And use buzzwords that may be associated to your industry. In facilities and equipment, capture what you've got that enables you to do your job. Moving down the menu bar on the left-hand side, in the capabilities section, 
This is where you indicate what industries you work with. This area enables ICN to better understand the breadth of industries you cover, along with any specialty areas that you work in. Next, check the location that you have listed against your profile is still current, including the contact person you have linked against that location. If the primary contact needs updating or changing, this can be done in the Contacts tab, which is right below the location in the menu. Check that the contacts you have listed against your profile are still current, including the primary contact person. You can also remove old contacts from here and ensure that all users have the right access to your company profile. Now that the main company information has been reviewed and updated, we will move down to the My Documentation section in the menu, where we'll start capturing information and documentation that will verify further information about your business. Once again, there are a few options at the top of this section with radio buttons. The PQC rating is a Queensland specific rating which is there due to this being a national database. As you work your way through this section, please be specific and detailed about the information that you are entering. The certification section will capture any certifications that your company has, for example, ISO. Simply start typing the certification name in the top row and a selection box will appear. Once you have selected the right one, complete the rest of the details and upload a copy of that certification at the bottom of the screen. Much like the certification section, the insurances section will capture insurance details for your company. Simply start typing the type of insurance in the top row and a selection box will appear. Once you have selected the right one, complete the rest of the details and upload a copy of that certificate of currency at the bottom of the screen. Please note that we do not need a copy of your whole policy. Repeat this process with the licensing section. Simply start typing the license name in the top row and a selection box will appear. Once you have selected the right one, complete the rest of the details and upload a copy of that license at the bottom of the screen. Further down the menu bar under My Account, you will find Notifications. This area is where you set up the communications you wish to receive from ICN. Simply select the contact name from the list and then click what notifications you wish to receive. This section is important if you wish to be notified of new business opportunities. Your company EOI section is a record of any expression of interest you have submitted through ICN Gateway over time. And of course, you will find other profile options in the menu bar, such as changing your password, upgrading your subscription option, and even user guides. The key takeout today in relation to updating your company profile should be clearly explain what you can offer and don't assume an evaluator knows who you are and what you do. In our last section, we'll go through how to submit an effective expression of interest against a business opportunity. We will cover what it is that ICN looks for when you submit, submit an EOI and what the buyer looks for. Remember, EOIs must be completed to be accepted. ICN looks for capability and experience that matches the scope of work, along with if your EOI is complete. As well as capability checking, buyers look for demonstrated experience in providing similar goods or services to the same or similar industry, which should all be captured in your ICN Gateway Company profile. Buyers will also look at your responses to project and work specific questions. So how do you find out about business opportunities? You can find business opportunities in two ways. You can receive notifications of new opportunities by ensuring your notification settings are correct. We went over this earlier. Or you can go to ICN Gateway and search for opportunities. Each project will have a project page which will provide you information about the project. The ICN contact person will be listed on the right hand side if you have any queries. And all of the project documentation and work packages are listed at the bottom of the project page. 
Simply identify the work package you wish to express your interest, interest against, and if there is a scope of work attached, review this document to determine what level you are going to express interest at. From this documentation, you can determine if you should register your interest at either full scope or partial scope. Once decided, click on the relevant button. From here, you will be requested to sign into your company profile and prompted to answer any additional questions that may be asked from the buyer. Once you have completed any questions, simply click Submit to submit your EOI. This becomes a very simple process because of all of the hard work in ensuring your company profile captures what your company can do. It's already been done. Some key takeouts when submitting an expression of interest. Check the work package is listed. Check the status of the work package. Check the close date. Read and respond to the scope of works and submit an EOI in the correct tier level. A complete EOI must be received to be considered. Here is an example of how ICM will present your information back to a buyer. Notice the company description area. This is where your elevator pitch summary will be populated. As described in our process earlier, once ICM passes details on, we have then finished our part. The buyer will go off and do their own commercial process until they award a package. Once a buyer then notifies ICN of who they have awarded the work to, we then list this company on ICN Gateway. With their contact details for those ongoing partial scope opportunities. Companies are then able to contact these companies direct. I would like to leave you with some key takeout messages today. Your company profile must be complete, up to date and accurate. Please register for notifications and read the scopes of work. Submit EOIs against the correct tier level, either it be full or partial scope, and complete any questions asked and return ICN calls or emails promptly. And please use ICN as an information source. If you do have any further questions in relation to your profile, please feel free to contact us in the office. Thank you for your time today.